Away from the oil and gas sector, the House of Representatives calls, calls for the establishment of a dedicated fund to provide safety and security of children in schools. Speaker of the House, Tajuddin Abbas, conversed this at the resumption of plenary after a 40 day recess for the Easter and Salah holidays. National Assembly correspondent Mitari Ikmin once again brings us details. Lawmakers exchange banters at resumption of plenary, excited at moving back to the main chamber for plenary after 21 months of renovation. The speaker's opening remarks set the tone as the House condemned the spate of terrorist attacks on schools this year, while affirming support for the security forces to nip the challenges in the board. Schools, which is the centuries of land have become target for terrorists and kidnappers. These acts are not only heinous, but are direct attacks on the future of Nigeria and rob children of their right to education and secure childhood. We will not allow the ambitions of our children to be thwarted by them. The House stands united with the armed forces and will advocate for comprehensive strategies to safeguard our schools. Adopting a motion of urgent public importance, the House resolved to summon the Minister of Petroleum Resources and Industry stakeholders to brief lawmakers on measures being put in place to address the current fuel scarcity and avert reoccurrence. The House also requested the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission to suspend the recently announced tariff hike affecting Band A customers pending an investigation by the legislature. House has adjourned plenary to 7th May 2024. From the National Assembly, Mitaire Ikmen, NTA News.